<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dead because we've done these and I haven't done them in ages. Um, Beach and Mouse in three words or less. I would say um, uh, romantic, political, and vastly beautiful. That's kind of cheating because it's two words, but yeah. He is a very mysterious man. He, um, <clears throat> when we first meet him, we don't really know anything about this guy. He's. Um, he has a lot of uh, shadows from the past, a lot of um, demons that he's wrestling with that we don't know at the beginning as an audience. Um, and as the story progresses, we find out more and more about him. Um, things that he does in early episodes that could be um, viewed as a bit sort of rude or bad or whatever, we sort of realize um, why that he's actually a very good man at heart. Um, he used to be part of the East India Company. He left them because he was uh, he got very angry with uh, the direction they were going misusing the, uh, the Indian people. Um, so he struck out on his own. Um, I'm not gonna say anymore because it ruins, but what he does in India is go off and uh, live some adventures and uh, at which point we pick him up. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, it was so we'd, we'd obviously been filming in Ealing Studios for six weeks. <laughs> Which did made it make us feel a bit claustrophobic. It was all inside, so it was quite wonderful to get out there and just have the roof taken off in a way. And uh, it's I'd never been to India, and it's stunningly beautiful, breathtaking. The architecture is incredible. Um, it was incredibly hot. Uh, the costumes are quite thick, and uh, yeah, we had to sort of take them off in between takes. I think one of the big things was the, the, when we first started shooting, there's, we were filming in these courtyards, which are so beautiful, but midday the sun would come in and just bounce around these white stones and it was like trying to act in a microwave um, so yeah it was very hot but again parts of it you know we were wearing costumes that people would have worn at the time uh, you do acclimatize quite quickly it took about two three weeks for the sweating to slightly uh, to slow down but um, it was wonderful it was a great experience well I've got this incredible coat um, which I fell in love with when I saw in pre-production um, and a big old hat and it looks fantastic when I'm running and walking and on a horse but when you're sat down in a courtyard with layers and layers and layers um, sweat dripping down your nose you're going cut <laughs> you know um, so it was very hot yeah and I think it's probably the first time in uh, filming history that men could complain more than women because obviously a women get the real short end of the straw and they're you know corsets they're usually very very uncomfortable whereas actually I think that was quite having sort of open chest and sort of dresses and stuff they, they got a good deal I think whereas um, we, were, we were pretty uncomfortable. 